This is going to be lesson two of the blog, how to do your own blog. So go to blogger.com. Now last lesson, you opened your new blog. So log into whatever you did to new post. These are all my posts. Oh, up here. It says new post right there. So I'll click on new post and I'm going to say the name of this blog post is going to be this is a cat. I mean obviously these, you're going to be posting more interesting things but I'm going to post a picture of a cat so you can see how it's so. Now you would of course in your case write a very interesting article and put a nice picture that you took. I'm taking an, a royalty free picture that I found on the internet. This is a cat. I'm going to call it Blog Lesson 2. Blog Lesson. Blog Lesson 2. This is a cat. And over I'm going to, here I'm going to just type what I want to type, like so I'll say. These are two cats. These are different. I'll finish this up. Uh, opinions. They are still friends. Opinions and likes and dislikes. They are still, comma. They are still friends. Okay, I'm taking too long with this. I'm not writing a novel here. Okay, they are still. I just want to put something. But, you know, it's spelled right. Opinions. And that, they're still friends. Okay. So you can even, you can save it. Okay, I saved it. You can go ahead and publish it. I published it. So now it's there, live on the internet. And then, let's say you publish it. You're like, oops, I forgot. I was supposed to put a picture in there. No big deal. Even though it is now live on the internet. Everyone can read it. Um, you might want to have it just right before you publish, but it's okay even if you don't. Just edit. Oh, wrong one. That's the first blog. Um, just go back to that one. Blog lesson two. This is a cat. Edit. There it is. And now I'll say, oh, okay, I want to put a picture over here. So you go here, then see this? There's a little picture of a picture here next to the word link right there. So, see, press that. Okay, press that one. And then here it's going to say, it's going to ask you, you know, it's going to say choose files. You want to upload, you might have it from this blog is one choice. Uh, from the Google Album Archive, which is another, it, you might have a Google Album, so it'll go there, and there's... I actually do have an archive for Snappy Tennis. There's a picture there of a tennis court um, that I uploaded. So I already have that in my drive. I could upload the picture I want into the drive. I just happen to have it somewhere else. Uh, I actually, do I? I have two photos in there. I do have it in my, in my drive. Google album. From your phone, if your phone is connected. But anyway, let's not get so... Here, I have two pictures here. No, that's from the Snappy Tennis. So, from this blog, I thought, I don't know. Anyway, upload. So, I'm going to upload it from my computer. Choose files. Right here, it's saying choose files. Click there. And I actually have it on my drive. I think somewhere. I've got a lot of pictures, but I remember putting the cat picture in here. Is it at the end? Oh my goodness, where is it? I don't even know what it's called. Hang on a second. Baby playing kittens. Here we go. I downloaded it from a royalty free. There we go. So, it's uploading. There it is. And there's the picture of the kittens appearing right there. And it's now on the blog. It'll be on there if I want to reuse it. 
right there, see? Okay. So pick that one. Add selected. You can continue to upload more if you want to put more than one picture, but I'm just going to put one picture. And there it is. Now, there it is, and I could go ahead and upload it. But you might say to yourself, well, that's nice, it's there, but I'd like to have it like in a newspaper. Like, you know, in the newspaper you have a picture and the words coming down the side. So You might decide you want the picture larger or smaller, so click on the picture. And see down here? You can choose small, make it smaller, or you want it medium, or you might want it extra original size. That's like if you want to go back to the original size. Whoops. Oh no. I guess the original size is too big. I want a medium. Okay, so I chose that. So then just click somewhere off the picture so that it goes back to normal. I'm going to, over here, maybe I want the picture to the right, so I'll put it to the right. And then the properties, you know, you might want to put a caption in there, you know, that's all up to you. So I think I'll add a caption. There's a choice there, add a caption. And I'll say here, best of friends. Best of friends. Okay, there's my caption. And now I want to put the picture into the words. Oh, I want I want the picture to the left, so I'll pick that one and drag it into the words. There we go. Then that works. Okay, see what I did? Let me go back, center, okay. Click on the picture, and then up here it's asking you what you want to do. I want the picture to the left. Right now it's centered. I'm going to say left. Sometimes that appears on the bottom. See, and then it pops inside into the words. You know, just fiddle with it, and, you know, if you want it to the right, let's say you want it into the, inside the words to the right, click on right, and it goes to the right. But I want the picture to the left. There. Then click off somewhere, see how it looks. And I want to full, I like to full um, justify these. There's that choice there. See, so that it lines up on the side, it looks a little neater. That's good. Then you publish. So I've published it to the internet, and if I go to my um, blog, which I forgot, the bloglearner.blogspot.com. Go. The bloglearner.blogspot.com. You'll now see the two posts. You'll see post from lesson one, but my less this is blog lesson two. This is a cat. And I'm actually, and see, there's my first blog. I'm looking at this, and I actually, now let's say you did this blog, and you say, oh, you know, it looks okay, but I decided I want a different look to the blog. I want it to be, you know, a different look. Let's say you want to change your the look of your blog. Go here. I'm going to go to theme. I don't like the theme I chose. So I, I click on theme. Pick that. Let's scroll down. Let me scroll down a little. See, and you can choose a different theme. So I'll choose, oh, I don't know. Let's choose, I like this pink one today, for example. But there's others to choose from. You can go down. So let's scroll down and see the choices. That's dynamic views. That's the one I currently had, but I don't know. There's so many to choose from. But I think I, I kind of like that. Well, the pink one is a little... I think I'll pick this one next to the pink one. Look, that's what it's going to look like now. Ah, it's a little... Actually, you get a preview. But I actually don't like that now that I'm seeing it up close. So I'm not... I'm not going to choose that one. Uh, how about this one? Oh, that looks kind of cute. 
Okay, I'll choose that one. The blog learner. All right, I'll, I'll apply that one today. Heads up. By applying this theme, you'll lose any theme customization. That's fine. I don't care. Apply the theme. So now that's applied. Let's go here. Let me refresh. And now it has the new theme. Okay. And you can choose which one you want to share. Keep reading. That's if you want to open it up. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.